What in the hell is that? That looks like a... That's a new kind of flying horror. Oh, shit. That hurt. Oh, shit. Welcome back, everybody, to Entrouded. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to do uh, get started um, on the basement of, of the house here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had mentioned in the last episode that I was thinking about whether or not I should just stay here for the rest of this playthrough or move somewhere else. And honestly, I still haven't decided, but that doesn't that doesn't stop us uh, from building the basement one way or the other. Uh, so we're going to do that. I'm not going to do this isn't a building episode. I'm not going to do, you know, a lot of it. I'm just going to kind of get started, give you guys the basic idea of what my plan is. Um, and then after that, we're going to go out and about and uh, do some more some more exploring excuse me and questing um now i have spent quite a bit of time a few hours in fact off camera um just gathering resources spent a lot of time in uh, the pillars of creation and uh, nomad highlands area and gathering feathers gathering you know just all the resources i also took a a big long trip uh down into the shroud um and so I, I took out this elixir well here. And then the shroud continues underground all the way through here. So even though on the map we see the overground area, there, there's, there's a humongous underground cavern uh, going through there. And um, so I found this place called a smothering or, or the smothering pit, and it's a big tin mine. And there was a shroud root and um, a fell thunder brute and a bunch of other enemies there. By the time I got there, though, I, I was out of arrows, so I had to. I ended up having to melee uh, those guys. But I eventually got them, you know, got them knocked out and got the shroud root taken out. And I, um, I, and the reason, the main reason why I was down there is because I was farming the, the mushroom guys that drop the ammonia sacks, uh, cause they're all over down there. Um, yeah, so we did that and, um, let's see what else. Oh, some, some, at some point when I was, you know, out and about over here doing stuff, I came across some wheat seed. I don't know how I did it. I didn't notice it. It's probably something that I looted either off of an enemy that I killed or, you know, out of a container. And so we now have wheat. And so I've got that planting here. And when this matures, the, we're going to be able to make flour, um, or rather, more specifically, make flatbread, which I'm assuming is going to be a really good uh, food item for us. And... Do I have the ability to grind flour in here yet? Yes, I do. Okay. That probably unlocked as soon as I found the wheat grains. Um, and that's what they look like there. So the, the weird thing was, is I, again, I didn't even notice it at the time. I was just back at the base taking care of my inventory. And I saw this that little black pile of stuff. And I'm going, what the hell is that? And it was wheat seeds. Now, the other thing that I'm hoping will happen once these uh, once this wheat matures is that when I harvest it, I will get straw because I need straw to make the um, sharp shooter set, which I want, which I want. Um, I think I, 
Uh, the Hunter set's pretty cool looking too, but I really like the look of the Sharp Shooter set. Um, and so I'd like to get that, but I can't. I, I've got everything else I need um, but the straw. So hopefully just by picking the wheat, I'm assuming that that will get us the straw that we need, you know, to, to make that. Okay, um, so until that happens, we're still sporting the North North Guard set, uh, and it's still serving us quite well. And uh, let's see, I set up another uh, tannery over here just to double my leather production, and we're doing pretty good on that at this point. I think we have, um, yeah, I've got 75 leather, and I've made myself the large backpack. So you can see that I've got the all, all these slots uh, filled in now. So once I had enough leather for that, made that, and let's see, I got a new bow here that I looted at some point, and it's... um. It's really kind of a side grade to the Shadow Bane. I'm still hanging on to the Shadow Bane. It's actually one point less, um, but it's got this head seeker. Um, so if I if I get headshots, then I get a five stamina automatic stamina rather automatically. Whereas this one is a leech five percent damage as stamina. Okay, so. I think that's pretty much all I have to update you on. I'm, I, I'm really, I, I want to kind of hang out at the base until this wheat matures so I can tell if I can do the straw. Because if I can, you know, then I can make that new set before we set out. Now, as far as setting out, uh, I've picked up a few more quests, um, you know, just by wandering around the highlands and so, and so forth. So we got all those to do. But I'm, I'm wondering if I should just fast track it uh, to the iron. Um... Let's take a look at that. See, that's way, way to the east. And that would totally open up um, the Kendall Waste is what this area is called. And I, I just like to get to the iron to unlock the recipes. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean we can make everything because we're probably going to need to get another tool for the blacksmith first before we can do that. But we should at least be able to maybe make the iron arrows. Um, and I can teleport there and start mining it and... Um, hoarding it up. So so I'm kind of inclined to to just see if we can make a beeline there without getting too squirreled on other things. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, uh, let's do this. Let's grab our building hammer. And I'm still pondering what, uh, you know, what I, I, I want to do with the basement. The idea is that it would be living quarters, you know, for all of our workers. And we could even move we could even move the crafting down there, or at least some of the crafting, um, and then just keep the upper floor, you know, nice, you know, decorate it and, and nice and neat. Um, or we could leave things more or less the way they are, and just stick all the storage downstairs, and you know, still make the bedrooms for the, you know, the living quarters for the the craftspeople, because you know they they gotta sleep and take a break and all that, right? Uh, and we just do it for fun, of course. Um, but you know, it, regardless of what I ultimately do with it, we, we have to build it first, right? So, um, let's grab out of here. Uh, we got a new, we got a couple of new types of blocks too. I don't particularly like the limestone block, <clears throat> um, because it's kind of has, has that ugly, you know, beige painted look. Um, but we haven't looked, uh, actually, I think we have looked at the fancy city stone block. And let's see, we already know what the refined wood block is, shroud wood. Uh, city wall block, that's new. So we could take a look and see what that looks like. But what we're going to do is, uh, I think what we'll do is we'll make a stair system down to the basement. Hmm. I was going to put it right under here, but... It would almost be better for the stairwell to go along the perimeter, just so we have more floor space. So what we could maybe do is have it go down here. That way when we come through the front door, we just take a hard right and go downstairs. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. I think that's what we'll do. Okay, so let's get this out. And we'll go into build mode. And it doesn't, wait a second. Uh, how come it's not registering these city wall blocks? Oh, I know why. Because I was in I was in terrain, terrain thingy. Okay, there we go. 
Um, fancy stone block. So what I'm going to do here is... Yeah, we better go with two meter because that's sticking out too far. Oh, right, because that was a that was a full block. Okay, hold on. Instead of doing that, why don't we go here? And remove this. Probably want to go now to, uh, sorry, to here. Hmm, I don't like, I don't like these wood, uh, wood thingies sticking out. You're going to go down there and conk your head on it. If I take this out here, what does it look like outside? Oh, okay, hold on. Doesn't really seem to matter on the outside. Um, well, actually, I guess it did kind of put this little board here, but... I, I can probably live with that, I think. Now, if we go to... Um, let's see. What, what did I use over here for stairs? I think I used Flintstone, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Well, what does the city... What does the city wall block look like? That's not bad, actually. It, it still... It still kind of has, like, you know, dirt mixed in with the texture, which is fine for outside, but for interior, it's just kind of weird. Um, what does this look like? See, that's actually better for interior, I think. I actually like that. Okay, yeah, let's go with that. Um, all right, so we want to put two meter stairs down. Um, but I think oh, 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 dang it! No, we can't do that. Undo. Okay, just put those in there for a second. Now, does that screw anything up out here? It doesn't. Okay, good. And then we can walk down here. Yeah, I think that'll work. We might... We might want to widen this a little more, too. I mean, the nice thing about it right now is that it's perfectly lined up with this wall. But it just seems super tight getting down there, you know? I mean, it's definitely doable. Plus, I'm going to bust my teeth on the on that. But we could fix that by moving the stairs back one notch. I want to keep snapping on for, for this particular thing just so it's... Um, lined up right, except for... Okay, you know what? Yeah... Snapping wants to put it there. Okay. Well, then we're just going to put, we're going to do this then. We're going to put that there. And instead, we're going to do that. Uh, now we have that thing that our head will get conked on. Did that screw anything up over here? Uh, it just added that little border piece, which is fine. Yeah, we've got the the seed seed tables there, so we're good. Okay. So now we can walk down here. And I mean this is gonna keep going down, right? So we won't bonk our head once we we'd start to dig it out some more. Let's remove temporarily. Let's remove that temporarily. And then what we want to do here is Missing materials. Oh. Okay. 
So yeah, by putting these blocks in like this, oh, you know what? The flame altar is going to be sticking down. We could fit. We could work with that. We could actually build like a column up underneath it. So that's not a problem. Okay, so this is two meters down, and then this is two meters down. So all we really have to do is just go along here, set it down, and then pick it back up, and it digs out a nice, you know, little square area for us. Um, we got a little bit of a hole right there, but I can fix that later. So now the question is, here, let's put this on just so we can all see a little bit better. Um, I just need to decide if I want it to go deeper or if this is, if this is good enough. Um... One thing we definitely need to do, of course, though, is put the stairs in. So let's go back to, let's go back to you and then go to two meter and yeah, put this, the rest of the stairs in. I'll also probably, you know, dig out a wall thickness here. Um, to, well, you know what? We could probably just pop that right in, couldn't we? Um... If we go to four meter and we go to wall. Yeah, we can just pop that right in place. Except for I'm not convinced that I like that wall. Let's um let's try this one instead. Yeah, see it's all it's got dirt and roots and shit. It, I don't like the look of that, man. Not for interior. Whoops. Uh, let's pull the bricks out. Oh, I guess I have some bricks already. Um, we could continue with the Flintstone theme, which would be fine with me, because the Flintstone does look good. Um, let's also see what refined wood looks like. Except for basement walls, typically are going to be like a, a stone or a concrete. We could try rough stone roughly cut city stone uh, well, I guess we could look at the limestone but I don't think I'm gonna like it let's try we already tried the fancy stone what does the fired brick look like wait what there that could work maybe I don't know we'll see this is Flintstone. That definitely could work because, you know, that's a, a big theme in the house. So we'll definitely keep that one in mind. Um, what about refined wood block? You know, that doesn't look terrible. But still, I think we need to have a stone theme for the basement. We could use the refined uh, wood block for the floor. Uh, oh, no, sorry. I'm hitting the wrong thing here. See, now that, that could work. We could use this as our flooring. So let's keep that there for the moment. And then um, let's just see what rough stone looks like. I mean, that's not terrible, but again, kind of dirty, dingy looking. So I'm not a huge fan. This is roughly cut stone. Now that's not too bad, actually. Hmm... All right, I think so far it's between this and the Flintstone. Um, let's try this last one here, limestone block. Uh, yeah, no, that looks terrible. <laughs> that looks really bad. I think that it's either going to be Flintstone or it's going to be... 
roughly cut stone block. And if we do the roughly cut stone block with the refined wood as the floor, that, I think that would look pretty decent. I really do. Or we do Flintstone. I don't know. The Flintstone just has so much character to it, you know? So I'll have to, I'll, I'll think about that. But anyway, um, that's all I'm going to do for now on this. I, I just wanted to kind of get started with it so you guys get the idea. So I'm going to dig the basement out. Um, I might make it a little deeper than this too. Uh, it is pretty close to the, to the ceiling there. And um, we were using, what were we using for the stairs? I think it was the fancy stone block, I think. Yeah. Okay. So I, I like this for stairs. It's, it's not bad. Um, so yeah, I will, uh, I'll, I'll figure out how deep I want the basement to go and then, um, decide, you know, whether or not I want Flintstone. I'm pretty sure we're going to keep stick with this for the floor, at least for the main part of the floor. When we put in things like, you know, um, furnaces and things that'll generate a lot of heat, uh, we'll, maybe we'll put some stone underneath that and, um, go from there. Okay. Uh, but this is uh, something, I'm, of course, I'm going to continue working on off camera. Um, I, I'd like to at least get the main structure t built, and then maybe we could do an actual a full building episode where we, you know, do interior design. I still have to do that in inside the house too. I uh, just haven't gotten around to it yet. So, and pop that back in place. And I also need to decide if I want to make this a little wider or not. It's just it's just really narrow. It's an aesthetic thing. It's not a functional thing. Of course, it'll work. But um, so, yeah, I'll figure that out. Because, you know, if, if we do, then we would put like a little rail around here, too. OK, so. Oh, it looks like the weed's done. Nice. OK, so let's harvest this. Ah, we get straw. Fantastic. OK, so oh, it's not all done. Those will probably pop in just a second. All right, that's what I was hoping would happen. So this is my very first time doing anything with wheat. I haven't even seen anybody else, like on YouTube, plant it yet. All right, so we'll, um, how much straw did that give us? It gave us 32 straw. Okay, so that should be enough for us to make our sharpshooter set. Um... Linen. I hope we have enough linen for this. We will be fine on leather. Six indigo plant. Yeah, we. I'm gonna actually probably need to go get some more indigo, but we should have enough. Okay, so let's do the hood. The chest piece. Gloves, pants, and boots. Beautiful. We got the whole set. Okay. By the way. And if you're curious, the Hunter set, both of these sets give the same resistances, you know, uh, across the board. The difference is that the Hunter hood gives, well, the, the Hunter hood and the Sharp Shooter hood are exactly the same. They both give 14% range critical strike chance and 11% critical strike damage. So they're the same. But when we get to the chest, um, the Hunter is 36 stamina and 18 health. The sharpshooter is 36 stamina and plus four minutes of rested, which is pretty good, actually. Um, so this would be, you know, better for, for tanky tanky, you know, getting into melee, but this would be better for uh, rested, which also will, you know, helps with that stuff too. Um, I'm mostly choosing the sharpshooter more for the looks of it than for the stats anyways. They're they're both really good. Okay, so the hunter gloves is 5% ranged and 9% damage um versus flying whereas this is six percent skill shot damage in other words headshot damage which i try and do as much as i can and also adds a two percent damage multiplier to the bow itself that you're using uh, so that's really cool and then for the pants the hunter trousers is plus 14 stamina and one sprint speed this is three stamina regen and seven stamina so 
This gives you a bigger stamina pool, but this allows you to regenerate the stamina more quickly. Okay, and then the boots are, uh, for the Hunter set, three stamina regen and minus 300 milliseconds of delay, whereas this is minus 600 milliseconds of delay and, and two stamina regen. Uh, so overall, uh, again, I, I just prefer the um, the sharp shooter set because of the fact that uh, it, it looks cooler. And it seems to focus more on, you know, regeneration and, and ranged, whereas the hunter set gives you a little bit more for, you know, maybe melee combat or something. Okay, let's go here and we're going to equip this now of course we're gonna lose a lot of our health that we had with that other set let's get in the light here but um you know we we have those other other advantages instead so i mean if if i sprint around the house and then stop look how quickly my stamina comes back yeah so that's that's really good All right, so we got our new set. We got our new large backpack. Um, we've already made the advanced uh, or the legendary glider, so we have that, which is really cool looking. I'll show it to you when we when we go out and about. Oh, I got. Oh, that's cool. It gives you. Oh, this is the wheat. Never mind. Okay. Um, so we still have the straw there too, and this is now all. Excellent. Let's do one more thing before we leave. Um, I want to I want to make sure we uh, replant our wheat uh, or get more seeds for it, so we can you know continue increasing the yield of it. Let me do that first, really quick, and then we're going to make whatever's left. We're going to make some of that flatbread and just see what that's all about. Okay, so that leaves us with 15 wheat seed left. But then, of course, we'll have a, a much higher yield later. So let's put all of that into there. And we will go to flour and make some flour. Uh, that's going to take a while. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um. Yeah. Um. Well, okay, how long is it going to take? It's going to take about four and a half minutes. All right, I'm going to cut the camera. I'll wait for that to finish. We'll make up some flatbread so we can see what it'll do for us. Uh, and then we'll take off. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys. Uh, we have our first batch of flour here. Let's grab that. Uh, we're also going to need some water and some salt. Uh, where do I have salt? Right here. And that's, oh, geez, it's going to take another five minutes, right? No, two and a half minutes. Okay. Oh, it's going to make two batches. That's why. Yeah, it takes two and a half minutes. Okay. Uh, so we'll wait for that to finish, and then we'll see what that bread, that bread does for us. I went out and grabbed uh, another batch of, of tin, so we got uh, more tin cooking up in here. Uh, but I've got, I'm doing pretty good on the metal. Um, we have three, uh, almost three full stacks of bronze bars. I'm still continuing, though, to make my arrows out of bone, uh, fossilized bone. There, uh, we talked about this an episode or two back, but this is this is one point less than the bronze. The bronze does 18, but this does cutting and piercing, whereas the bronze only does piercing. So if, <clears throat> if we're up against an enemy that is um, resistant to, to piercing, you know, then this this will help. And I think the Matron, you know, the Scavenger Matron boss is resistant to piercing. Uh, the other thing I've been doing is I've actually been making uh, wood arrows. How many twigs do I have left? I've still, it's still a pain in the ass to, you know, to keep in the twigs here uh, in quantity. But... It's just a matter of going and finding one of those nests and, and mining it out, which isn't a big deal. It just takes time, you know. But let's go ahead and 
make ourselves some wooden arrows because what I'm finding is, you know, with as powerful as my build is, um, most things just out in the world we can take out easily with wooden arrows. Um, that gives us a hundred. You know what? I think I'm just going to make all of them, and then I'm just going to have to have another big farming sesh of twigs. That gives us four. Yeah, so we can, we can kill just about anything out there, um, uh, except for the really tough enemies and the bosses and stuff uh, with these. So we'll use these for just everyday pew pew, and then if we get into a, a tough situation, you know, we'll switch to the to those arrows. There. Okay, cool. Uh, all right. How much time you got? You got nine, eight seconds left. All right. I'm just curious to see what this is going to do for us. I have no idea. There we go. Okay. So a flatbread will give us four strength. Ah, okay. So this is a melee. This is definitely a melee food. All right. Well, now we know. Now we know. Um... I'm not going to actually eat that because we, uh, melee's not really our main thing. I'd rather, you know, have this other stuff. I would like to make maybe a, a couple more things of sugar, though, because that runs out a lot more quickly than the other stuff. And, uh, now we're out of sugar cane, so I'm going to have to plant some more of that. I do believe I have some seeds for sugar cane here. Yeah, I do. Um, let's just go throw those in the ground really quick. And I still, you know, I still pick it too when I'm, um, when I'm out and about. But it's always good to have at least one, one stack of seeds of everything just in case, you know. Okay, I think we're ready to go. And again, the name of the game here is. Oh, I forgot to show you this. I, I've, I've got a new axe from that fight, uh, that we did over. Uh, over here. Uh, no, where, what, where was that place? The mine place that I was telling you about earlier. Here, yeah, the smothering pit. Um, so, so yeah, I, I actually got this legendary axe, and it is 44 damage. I'm still hanging on to the noble sword, uh, that does 40 damage at, you know, as our backup melee weapon. Uh, but now we have this axe, too, so. Slowly, slowly moving up in the world. I really like our new armor, man. Very cool. Okay, now there's one more thing we need to do. Um, let's take take a look and see where I have flame altars because uh, I'm gonna want to, you know, have more to set up as we work our way towards the iron. So I don't have anything more really up in this area. I've got the one that's where we might potentially build our new home. Um, this one is up in a really high spot and allows us to, you know, to fly to certain places. But this one I have here because it takes me directly to the tin mine that we have. That one we should keep there if for no other reason because it'll get us over here quickly. Um, I don't think we need this one up here anymore. So, so if we, if we pick that one up, that'll give us three. And honestly, I mean, this one's nice to have, but it's not as essential. So I think I'm going to pick this one up and this one up, and then that'll allow us to put four more down as we work our way east towards the iron. So I believe that's what we'll do. Uh, this is this place is a pain in the ass to get up to. It's doable, obviously, because I've gotten up there, but it's not an easy it's not easy to get up here. So I want to kind of leave that one there until I decide for sure what I'm going to do. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and fast travel to here. We'll just kind of use these flame altars to you know kind of leapfrog. Might as well pick that up too. To our destination, and once you start. De uh, deactivating those, you don't have to stick around. Okay, now let's move. Uh, nope, let's go to this one next. Okay, we'll extinguish that flame. Now I'm just gonna run back home really quick, uh, just because I already have all the stone there, and we're we're gonna queue up um, a few of these altars and just take them with us so we can just plop them down. 
because it's actually difficult to find normal stone, at least in the highlands. I don't know about the Kendall Ways, but in the highlands, it's actually kind of hard to find normal stone because most, you know, the land itself is, is limestone. Let's go here. Um, we can have, yeah, we can have a total of four of those. Um, so, yeah. Let's just make four, and we'll... They, unfortunately, they don't stack, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we'll take this with us, too, so that way we can stop and repair out in the middle of the boonies if we need to. All right, let's go. Uh, do we have a full rested bonus? Yes, we do. 47 minutes is our current rested bonus. So we're going to teleport all the way to here. Or fast travel, I should say. And we'll probably leave that there for at least for now until we get you know more of a network set up and our goal is if we can to get to here parts of iron so we're going to set that as our waypoint i'm i'm under no illusion that we're going to be able to just walk straight there without any resistance uh, or any difficulty but we'll We'll do what we can. Let's also make that the actual main quest, too. So it's all just kind of pointing in the same direction. Here we go. Now, when we when we went into the... Um, the the Kindle Waste in the Shroud... Oh, let's kill this guy. Make sure we're using wood and arrows. Uh, I got killed, if you guys remember. Because um, those enemies were, were tough. I, I'm not I'm I know I can defeat them. I'm not worried about it. It's just that I was kind of careless. I, I didn't Here stop. There you go. I didn't um, Respect them enough. I guess is what I'm trying to say A mistake. I won't be making again There we go. Yeah, these guys dropped the ammonia sacks which we need to make leather So we'll continue farming them as we go along Got to wait for that stuff to clear up or it will hurt you. Um, and, we'll, of course, we'll continue to grab produce along the way as well. I'm going to kind of conserve my, um, my buffs and stuff until we really get into a situation where we need them. Here's a respawn point. Anything to loot? Collect. Oh. Oh shit, scorpions. That's new. All right, maybe we better, maybe we better buff up here. Okay. Um, I definitely need to be farming chickens too, but that's something I can do later. Um, I really want to, try not to get too sidetracked so we can get to where we need to go here today. He says as he gets sidetracked. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's... Uh, so that's going down into the shroud. Let's not go that direction. So anyways, welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Kendall Waste. Oh, look! There's like these armored, um, something or others here. Armadillos. Armored armadillos. Are they mean? Check you guys out. All right. I wonder what, uh, resources they, they give. Oh, well, they're not very fast. Sand digger meat and scales. Ooh, okay. I, I I think that's gonna probably be what's this? Saffron. Nice. Uh, sand digger meat's probably gonna be our um you know our next level meat dish. Cool. Okay, I'm not gonna farm all those all the all them now. We can come back here later and take care of them. You give poisonous sacks and more of that chitin stuff. Okay. That's good to know. 
All right, let's keep moving this direction. I will grab, you know, the saffron and stuff it's, if it's along in our path. Always grab those because... What the hell's making that noise? Something's probably caught in the mesh. I'm thinking. Oh! There's a fly in something or other. That's kind of like that... That thing that we... We're fighting in the shroud, except for that this one is orange instead of blue. Oh, good. They dropped two feathers each, too. That's better. So I'll probably start farming those, then, instead of the chickens. Because the chickens only drop one thing of meat, and they are a pain in the ass. What is this? This is some kind of new resource here. What is this? Lapis lazuli. Oh, cool. Sage tunic unlocked at... The thingamadoodle. Okay, we'll remember that that's there. In fact, what I'm going to do for the moment is just do this as a, a marker. I wish we could name those. We can't name them, right? No. Um, and that will be our uh, lapis place. Again, I'm not. I don't want to take a lot of time to be harvesting stuff right now. I want to get to our destination before this episode is over. So, we gotta move. We gotta move, man. We gotta move. What is that? Oh, that's just a scavenger dog. Probably a pretty high level one, though. Yeah, no, we're not looting that. Okay, what is this? Sulfur, I'll bet you. I'll bet you this is sulfur. Yep, nice. Okay. Same thing. Let's just mark this location. Uh, wait, where am I at? Way over here. We'll make it green. And that way we can come back later. Okay, let's move. Do we have, like, big massive sandstorms in this biome, like in Conan? That'd be crazy. What's this? Desert flower. Oh, shit. Love that extra, um, damage to flying creatures. Certainly helping with these dudes. We got some kind of a town over here. And I wonder if this is something significant. Oh, shit. Run away! Man, those scorpions chased me for a long way. I just love that those guys give two things. All right, well, I think it's time for us to put down a an altar. Let's go home, sleep, repair. We'll come back here. Okay, guys, we are ready to set out again. Uh, let's replenish our sugar. Everything else seems to be in pretty good shape right now, buff-wise. And let's continue heading towards the iron. Um, there's some kind of fort, encampment, something or other here. We'll go in there just to get it on the map, but I'm not going to... Oh, shit. Does it tell us what this place is? Eggs and scrap metal. Sapphire Strand. That's what it is. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's just skirt this place for now. We'll come back later. Looks like there's more sulfur up there. I think that's what that is. Yeah, I'm sure that's what that is.
Does this wood give us anything special or is it just normal wood? Let's take a look. Palm wood. Palm wood bed at Carpenter. Oh, nice. Okay. So again, we'll come back and farm that stuff later. We're just discovering things right now. Man, these birds are all over the place. It's not a bad thing for farming purposes. All right, we have another camp of some sort here. Was there a uh, way I could blow this guy up? Can I get you through the fence? Sorta. Got a chest here. Oh, that's supposed to be a really good sword. 44 damage. It's the same damage as this, plus it has two upgrades. Oh, nifty. Okay, we're going to hang on to that. I'm not going to do anything with it right now, but we'll hang on to it. Uh, we can make the... Um, you know, the, the b bigger grenades now, too. Anything up here? Okay, is this place marked? No, this is just a random... A random place. Okay. All right, let's keep moving here. Let's take a quick look at, at this sword. I'm just curious, what's it look? what does it look like? Okay. Nothing too fancy, but... Yeah, I was watching... um. Uh, ESO video where he was oh shit um t talking about you know how you about farming the guard of the north set which I you know I had already done before before that and he all, he was in in the process there's a place in uh Pike's Mead Reach where you can also get this sword in the early game too so I was just kind of curious about all that and uh that's how I know about it. I never found the sword myself because I didn't know I was supposed to be looking for it. But Yeah, that's probably more lapis, I'm guessing. Let's switch back to our main melee weapon for now. Does the cactus give us anything? That's just plant fiber, right? Okay, yeah, so it looks like that's all that gives. Sounds like we have another bird stuck in the mesh. Man, they gotta fix that shit. Probably underground. Okay, how close are we getting? We're starting to get there. Um, I think let's Yeah, there's a one of there's a fell version. As long as they drop feathers, that's all I care about. Um, let's go kind of skirt the the edge of the shroud because we're going to pop down another flame altar before we actually go down into it. Uh, what What's this business? Oh, I bet you that's a nest of those birds. Can I actually go up there? Interesting. Okay. Well, another place to farm uh, twigs. Let's go this direction. So this is the pathway down to where the thingy is. Ooh, I wonder if we could get to that spire. Eh, that's probably further away than it looks. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to plop down a an altar right here. There we go. Okay. I don't want to risk losing that sword, so I'm going to run back home real quick and put that away, repair, be right back. Okay. We're back. Let's head on into the shroud here and see... Oh, shite. Uh, see what's going on. Let's take one of these. 
and I think I'm gonna just refresh these now. Let's grab some sugar. And all the rest of the food buffs are in pretty good shape at the moment. All right, here we go. We have 19 minutes in the shroud. Follow the path down because it looks like it's leading to where we need to go. Location, Ridgeback Mine. All right, cool. And we also have a, a thingy there, uh, a root. So once we kill that off... All right, I think we better change to our bone arrows because I'm sure we're not going to be able to just waltz right in here and break that without any resistance. All right, let's go up here and see what's going on. There's the iron. Nice. Got a chest here with a uh, level 23 arsonist bow. I'll bet you that's good. That's 23. That's 24 power with no upgrades at all. So, yeah, we'll probably be switching back to that when the time comes. Um, but, yeah, let's get this root out of here. What in the hell is that? That looks like a... That's a new kind of flying horror. Oh, shit. That hurt. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Okay. It's on now, man. Holy crapola. I, uh, I thought I was going to be able to get it down, you know, before it killed me, but I thought wrong. Okay, let's do this again. That skull thing, man, that that it shot at me. Oh my goodness, that hurt. And then I don't know what else it did, but it wasn't good. Is that is that the actual boss? Because if that's just a normal enemy, this place is dangerous AF. We didn't hardly lose anything important there. Okay. Oh, did I? Wait, did I manage to kill it? Where's it at? Hmm. No, it's there. Okay. Is it? There we go. Oh, shite. Okay, that's a heat-seeking thingy. They're both heat-seeking. Oh, goodness gracious, this is not good! Oh. Get out of here, bug. My God, you guys, this is tough. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, this is tough. Probably the toughest enemy I've encountered so far in this game. I wonder if we can block that stuff with our shield that sh it's shooting at us. Hmm. I just about killed it the first time. Okay. So, we have to... We have to come up with a viable strategy here. Um, staying behind cover is... 
probably a really good idea. Because of the shit that that thing shoots at us. Um, but also, m the thing is, is they're heat seeking. Okay, I don't want to be fighting other shit while I'm fighting this. So, if we've attracted a, a lesser, let's get rid of it first. We got an archer over here. Okay, so he's down. Um. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just um let's try this again. I have to get used to the attacks and all that sort of thing, you know. That stuff is just relentless. Okay, let's make sure we're fully topped off. Oh, it's right there. Stay away from the skull thing. Okay, so it looks like it it looks like it does those blade things in a Got it. Holy crap. It looks like it does those blade things in a triple attack. Oh shit, we're not out of the woods yet. Um, okay. I hate this guy. Alright. It's almost easier to do melee with him. Kind of skirt around him a little bit and try and get behind him when his shield's down. Got him. See, that's where that that blink damage really comes in handy because it, it works as a really good finisher in a lot of cases, I've noticed. Alright, let's get rid of this son of a bitch. And we're clear. Whew! Oh shit! <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> we're not clear yet. Alright. Got him. He's pretty tough too, man. Very heavily armored dude. Um, all right, so there's a bunch of bugs up there. Uh, oh, that area is still enshrouded. Yeah, we could probably get to this spot without getting their attention, I'm thinking. But anyway, let's unlock iron. There we go. Iron pickaxe at the blacksmith. And much more. The thing is, though, is I'm sure the blacksmith's going to want us to find something for him first. Huge chest. Oh, I didn't even know there was a huge chest. Oh, that's fantastic. But uh, we need to wrap up this episode here. So I'm just going to stay here and mine as much of this as I can. And then um, not sure exactly what we'll do in the next episode, but we will definitely figure it out. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did... Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and I was going to also look and see what this is. This is a fell sickle scythe head. We we need that for the next flame upgrade, actually. Um, oh, where the hell did that come from? Nice. We must have picked that up off of the boss, I'm thinking. Anyway, I just totally jacked up my, um, my outro. Um, so when I do that, I just say goodbye. Goodbye.